years, and we would like to present you our project today. But first, last night maybe you checked the news before you came here, or this morning when you were coming to the event, you took a look at the newspaper, or maybe during the previous presentations you were a little bit bored, <laughs> so you scroll on your telephone and you check the news or check Facebook, and that made you aware of the complexity of the problems we are facing in the world nowadays. And governments and organizations are finding it more and more difficult to address these problems. What problems am I talking about? Let's imagine that we talk about wildfires in California. The government spends two billion every year to address the problems. Or Brazilian government spends two billion dollars for addressing the deforestation in the Amazon region. This is a multi-billion dollar market. And the problems have always been there, right? But why, why are they so serious? And what can we do about it? Well, they're first of all so serious because the governments don't have access to real-time, high-resolution data. And if they had this, the real-time information about the problems, and they could address the one they were small, they could make immense changes. But how do we do that? Yeah, so as Martin is saying, it's right that we believe the solution to most of those problems addressed, like hazards and forest fires, is to provide possible customers like governments and big industries with real-time data about their applications and processes. And this would allow them to act more faster and more effective and cut, cut mo most of their costs, actually. And uh, how, how could we achieve this, actually? The only way to do this is to um, set up a nano-satellite constellation into a 300 kilometer low Earth orbit. And this will provide the real-time data. And I would just like to mention here that this will be the world's first commercial nano-satellite constellation in orbit, since this has actually never been done before. And um, yeah, you could imagine that the grand picture later on would be actually to gradually build up that constellation and then to have like a, a real-time Google Earth once, maybe 10, 15 years. Real-time Google Earth? Do you still remember what we had? Well, nowadays we use Google Maps. So we can also imagine it like real-time Google Maps. But this is really ambitious, right? It's a big, big, big project. So we have to start from somewhere where we can scale this project up. So, which problem, problem we decide to address at first? Look at these two pictures. Can anybody in the audience guess which is this coast, by the way? Wow, very, very smart. I, have, I shouldn't have shared that with you before. All right, so we have Australia. And they're not still like Europe. They're, their borders are not still open, right? And we have connection in the government there, which inform us about the how much money they spend per year for facing their illegal, illegal immigration issues. How much? 1.6 billion euros a year. Or they spend 380 million only for controlling their ocean, the seas, with the boats. Okay, how much is that? 360, 380 million? If you want to understand.